hello friends in today's video i'm going to show you the difference between subject and behavior subject and most importantly where to use this as most of us know that uh, the basic difference from uh, subject and behavior subject but the problem is we face difficulties to understand which one to use in which situation in some cases uh, we know that we have to use either subject or behavior subject but we don't know which one to use right so uh, i'm trying to showcase this in this video and uh, try to i'm trying to explain it with some example and let me show that i have created one application using angular 8 and we here we have three pages home about and products and currently i'm in the home page and in home page i have three sections three components one left sidebar one is home page component and another is right sidebar now as you can see uh, I, in right sidebar i have one text area and a button so the purpose is user will be typing something here, from here and you'll hit the send message and that message will be received from left and home page and as you can see in left sidebar and in home page both the both the places i have subject and behavior subject both from this right right sidebar i have uh, the subject and behavior subject both calling the next function with uh, some values so if i show you that <coughs> so let me show you first the home page here you can see this is the home page i have left sidebar i have right sidebar and i have the main body content here <coughs> and from the right sidebar i'm typing something and hit the send message button here and from that i'm calling the common service file this is the common service file and here as you can see i have one subject and one behavior subject already created Right. and uh, in um, again okay, when user will sub hit the send message button we'll call the next method of this subject and behavior subject both with same message that user has written in the text area okay now we uh, need to make this observable so uh, this is the message get message from which i am making the subject as observable and from this method i am making behavior subject as observable so that uh, other component can subscribe these two subject and behavior subject <coughs> and in this case while initializing you can see in the subject i have not passed anything because you know if i pass something it will give me error because it is it's expect expecting zero argument but i'm trying to pass one and same goes here if i don't pass anything it will say me that expected one argument so we need to pass uh, you already know this probably <clears throat> so here's the thing uh, as you can see i have written hello here and it's already got printed so uh, there are two subscription one is in the home page and one is in the left sidebar for this behavior subject you can see in the console uh, it's from the home component and from the sidebar component it got printed so it's essentially whenever uh, any subscription will be there <coughs> it will be sending the data to that uh, subscriber right so this is the behavior subject and from subject you can see you have not received any data till now let me clear and write something okay all right hi there and hit the this button you can see uh, this this is for the subject this console it's in the home component and this is the side left sidebar component and same goes for viewer subjects for home component and the second one is for the side by left sidebar component so as you can see this message is uh, received from subscriber subscriber so it's left side by subscriber and the home page subscriber both receive this message and also from the behavior subject also because we have also uh, called the next of subject and behavior subject both with the same same text either now if i uh, move to another page which is about page this is an identical page of the home page so what will happen now uh, there i have the same subscription for the subject in this, these two places and the behavior subject in this, these two places as you as you as you already seen that in the uh, for the behavior subjects the data whatever we passed this is already uh, already available to the subscriber right so uh, when you will be moving to the about page this should also be the same thing right and the point is the behavior subject hold the last value so this is the last value hi there right? this is the last value so it will be uh, stored 
and when I'll move to about page it should show me hi there but it, it should not show anything in the subject section because subject does not hold anything any value so let me go as you can see in about page I have left sidebar there I can see this hi there message and in the about page also the last message that we had already in the home page but in the subject I don't have anything so let me test again okay so this is the last message this is an example this is an example and in the left sidebar also but we have in the left sidebar subject section I have this message in the previous section I have previous message hi there and the new message if I write since I'm pushing those messages so it will be uh, appending now the uh, last value is hello again so in for both the cases subject and behavior subject but subject will not hold this and behavior subject will do hold this value so if i now move to home page again there should be hello again for behavior subject and there will be empty for subject let me check so as you can see the difference right so one difference is that we can pass initial uh, initial value with the behavior subject and we cannot do this in subject and in the so the subscriber already present or the any new subscriber coming um, this will already uh, get this will uh, this will get the data uh, what we have currently stored we have currently stored in the behavior subject so when i'm saying that any new subscriber will come so that means currently we have uh, subscriber for uh, these three sections so for uh, behavior subject we have in home page in left side per page when we're moving to about page we are actually adding two new subscriber to this behavior subject because we are um, already again adding the left sidebar in the in the in the about page about page html html file right so we have again two new subscriber and these are uh, these are getting the data which is um, uh, emitted from behavior subject but for subject we are not getting anything so this is the difference now why to use this so uh, i have noted down a couple of uh, ideas or couple of places where scenarios we can we can use this uh, subject as you know we don't have any previous value stored right and any new subscriber is coming it, it, it will not get any any data initially it will the subscriber will not be executed uh, so autocomplete is one place where we can use subject because in autocomplete we don't need to know what was the previous value user will be typing in the text field and the API will be called I don't need to know what was the previous value right so whenever you will be typing uh, i'll cancel the previous call if it's in progress i uh, in the switch map if you uh, don't know this you can check out my videos uh, on switch map so uh, if user type something api call will go and uh, if API user types again something another api call will go we don't need to know what was the previous value for the input field so that is one place and in some cases the second second scenario is in some cases uh, we need to have API response in multiple component in a single page in case of our uh, about page there are three component right left about and right so in this three component in case we need one same data that will be coming from the API call we can make use of, of this subject whenever uh, subject uh, API response comes we will call the next of the subject and uh, in all the subscriber that data will be available now the behavior subject is something as I told we uh, uh, whenever we need the previous value we can use that and uh, while navigating while navigating from one route to another route the data will be holding or uh, in, in the behavior subject itself so any new subscriber in that new route that will get the data from that's so that behavior subject and it will be displayed uh, like one one scenario I can show you the user info whenever user will log in and uh, from the login page a user will navigate it to some uh, dashboard page or some other page at that time you need to uh, understand that uh, what was the user name and what was the profile picture the full name of the user so that you can show this uh, maybe at the top of your application so let me show you that so uh, suppose this uh, this this is our login page and here at the right side i want to show the user first name last name with the profile feature so whenever user will log in we can we can call the next method of the behavior subject and so whenever user will be navigating from one page to uh, another page at that time 
will have this value stored and we can we can make use of that value that's stored in the behavior subject so we can have a, a subscription here and we'll get that data to display so um, that is one place and also we have the same thing is required in case of uh, showing and hiding the login and logout menus uh, in this case we currently are showing the login menu and after login it will show the logout menu right so whenever we are also navigating from one page to another page uh, this should remain same the login link should not come yeah, so uh, uh, in this situation also we can make use of the behavior subject same behavior subject basically we're using which one we are showing the username for username and profile picture using the same behavior subject we can make uh, we can you can handle this menu link menu items to show the logout menu or login menu based on the details and one one interesting uh, scenario is the shopping cart generally what happened whenever you uh, you have any shopping cart you and user hit the add to cart button of any for any product you will generally save it in dv right so in case suppose you don't need to uh, you don't want to save this in dv so let's come to this product page here you can see i have few products and i have button add to cart whenever user will be and and also here i have this cart uh, the account of the items added in the cart so whenever user will be clicking on this add to cart i need to first increase this uh, number so let's try one two so i have added two items in my cart see uh, this numbers get increased by two now if i click on this and go to on the cart page i'll have this two details but in this case i don't have any db i don't have any network call for these two right so if i show you again so i achieve this using behavior subject whenever i'm clicking in this add to cart button i'm pushing uh, in an array and in next i'm passing the same array so in this case i have two element first one and second one these two element i have in the same array which is getting uh, emitted from this behavior subject this observable and uh, whenever i'm coming to this cart page i am using the same behavior subject to show these details let me show you this how i have uh, created this so let me close all this so this is the product list page when you from where user are clicking on this add to cart button so whenever you are clicking add to cart button i am calling a service add to cart and sending this item what is the item it item is the complete object the name product id the price so um, let's go to the add to cart so this is the add to cart here i have this behavior subject initialized with some uh, with the initial value that is the that, that is one empty array first and we are create uh, whenever user adding uh, any product in the cart i'm adding that card and that object into the existing array and sending this array in the next and uh, also make the tag as observable made that as, as observable now uh, when i call the next anyone subscribe to that it will get that right so since the header part the the number that you have uh, one or two item in your card so it's in the app component see this is the text and so let's go to the app component ts file and here i can see i have subscribed to that service and get card products so what we have in the card products get card products so it's only the observable that's that's it it's sending the details in uh, sending the complete object and i'm just adding the length to show the number of item that's added in the cart now if i go to the shopping uh, shopping cart page so that is the page where I'm showing the, all those details so there also the same thing uh, we have one item array which will be uh, containing all these items which I have added in the shopping cart and now I have the same uh, same behavior subject subscription method here and I'm just assigning all those array coming from this subs subscription into the items and just displaying this in a for loop so um, that's pretty simple right so that's the one part here and uh, that's the main example i thought to explain you how we can you make use of the behavior subject and where we will use the subject instead behavior subject so uh, hopefully it will be helpful for someone
so thank you for watching this video please like subscribe and give your comments thank you